guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's another day, another video, and it's been a long while since makapag vlog ako ulit. Anyway, I hope everyone is in safe. And before that, gusto ko lang kumustahin ang aking mga kaklase for the STEM strand and to my Yum's strand. So, from today's vlog, um, let me share my experience sa pag apply sa DOST scholarship. I know that next year, I'm um, college na. So, I take this opportunity para makapag-apply. So, from today vlog, um, is share ko sa inyo kung paano ako nakapag-apply dito at kung ano mga form ang dapat nating i-prepared para makapag-apply. So, before that, gusto ko lang i-good luck ang mga kasab kasabay kong mag-apply at sa mga kaklase ko na nag-apply din sa scholarship na to. So, DOST scholarship stand for Department of Science and Technology and SEI, Science Educational Institute. So, this scholar is very big help to the upcoming college. So, this video is very relevant to the upcoming grade 12 and grade 11 para malaman nyo kung paano makapag-apply sa susunod na application for the year 2022. So guys, if you are interesting to learn, to learn and to know, samahan nyo ko and just keep watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And the USD scholarship, uh, majority and priority nila ang STEM strand, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. But you can also apply it as long as you are belong to the 5% upper class of your school. So, since I'm humanities and social science strand, so, I'm belong to the 5%, so, I take this opportunity para makapag-apply. So, as far as I know, the USD scholarship started at October 22 and end by December 31. So, I apply it uh, maybe December 27. Yes, I apply it December 27. So, here in my table, I have the form or documents na hinanda ko or prepared para makapag-apply dahil meron itong 11 na requirements. So, since online application tayo ngayon, nandito pa yung mga form and requirements ko. Um, it has uh, 11 requirements. One is form C. Here. Form C is Certificate of a Good Moral Character. So, makukuha nyo ito sa inyong school counselor or school guidance counselor. So, ito na siya. Nakuha ko sa aming school. But, um, pumunta ako doon December 10 at nakuha ko ito sa aming guidance counselor. Next form is Certification of Good Health. Ito siya, Form D. Certificate of a Good Health. Mm. This is certified that my name is a good health and fit to study in college. The doctor who is examining me is Dr. Gisdado G. Fentevelia. Next is Form E1. Since I'm not belong to the STEM strand, so dito ako sa Form E2. Principal Certification for Applicant from the Non-STEM Strand. So, this is to certify that me, my name, is a member of grade 12 graduating class under the Non-STEM Strand for the school year 2021-2022 and classify within the upper 5% out of 711 student in graduating class. So, I am belong to the 5% and I'm part of 4%. Yes, 4%. And it's signed by our principal here. Signed by our principal. Next is Certificate Form E1. Form F. It is Form F. Form F is Certificate of Residency. So, this Certificate of Residency, you can sign by your... Barangay Captain to your barangay. So, I <coughs> nakuha kong form na to sa Barangay 9, sa Barangay Hall. And, they also give certification. 
They also gave certification that I am bona fide resident of Zone 7, Baligun Matakla, Gawa Kamarinisor. Ito siya. Next is Form G. Form G is parent certification. This certification signed by my legal parents, which is my mother. This is certified that my son, that my daughter, Elgen, is, has no pending application for immigration to the USA or other country. So, I'm born, uh, sa magka-apply nito, you are born Filipino citizenship. So, it's signed by my parents. Form G, parent certification. Next is Form H. In Form H, applicant certification. In Form H, this is for my application, applicant application, and it has a four, and we need to check. There's a four. So I check number one and number four. And number one, I'm not taking any previous DOST and SEI undergraduate scholarship examination because this is my first time. And number four, not earn any post-secondary or undergraduate unit. So I sign here and it is signed then by my parents. Ito siya. Next is Form I. Form I is signed declaration of applicant in the parent legal guardian. So ito siya. Signed by my parents and this is for my signature. Form I. Next is your grades. Grades from grade 9, 10, and 11. For these requirements, I got this in my school registrar. So, this is my grade from grade... This is my grade for grade 9, grade 10, and grade 11. In grade 9, I got 94% average. In grade 10, I got 95% percent which is with high honor and i'm proud to say that i got a 99 grades yes here ito siya 99 kaka proud i am um, i got 95 percent and for grade 11 here's my grade in first sem and second sem so one of the most requirements sa pag apply ng scholarship na ito. Next is your birth certificate. So, ito siya. Birth certificate. This is 11. Pang 11 na ba itong requirements? And next is parents income tax certificate or certificate of barangay indigency. When you are have family business, you need a uh, parents income tax since wala kami so i got this certificate of indigency ito siya na magpapakatotoo i got this in my barangay hall certificate of barangay indigency this is the last requirement this is the last requirements when you have the 12 requirements and when you got this and prepare this you are now ready to apply so to apply Step number one, register, uh, register your, you can register first to your valid email address. This is the step number one, register using your valid address and when you are not eligible to apply, you can, re you will receive this qualification. Since when I register, uh, may nag-email ka agad sa akin for verification, so may bibigay silang link. At this link, yun na ang second step. You are, do, don't ka na mag, so simulang mag -up. Since I'm eligible to apply, um, may not, may, I can proceed to the next question. So, in step 2, mayroon kang sasagutan, which is your personal data. Second is contact information. Next is family data. Financial contribution questionnaire. And the last is you will upload the form or requirements that I mentioned. That I mentioned like this. I scan mo siya, wago mo siya, i upload. So you can review before you submit. Since everything is okay, you can now submit it. When everything is okay and submit it, uh, meron ka nang receive na 
then when you submit it um you can, everything is okay and you can submit it you can visit the website of the ost or sei undergraduate um application form at maybe may may mo malalaman kung kung ano ang result and kung mayroon kang kung disqu- kung qualified ka mayroon ka ma-receive na na email galing mismo sa DOST scholarship na nakapasa ka so for more information you can also you can also visit the page of DOST scholarship para mas malinaw at mas malalon yung maintindihan so today <clears throat> I am hoping na I'm hoping na masaya ang pagsasama natin ngayon at hanggang sa susunod ulit. So I hope everyone is in safe and from now I'm going to say goodbye and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.